Maintaining a greenhouse garden takes a lot of dedication and time. And when it comes to watering, you're having to haul heavy hoses, determine the best watering schedule, and keep up with everything. But what happens if you want to go away on vacation? That is where an automated greenhouse irrigation system can come in handy. Today, we're going to go over three different options so that you could pick which one is best for you. Let's first take a trip back in time and talk about an ancient but incredibly effective irrigation technique, the Oya. Oyas are unglazed terracotta pots that when buried in soil and filled with water, slowly leach the water out to moisten the soil around the pot. These make it so that you cannot overwater, and these are perfect if you're going out of town for a few days or just want to take a little bit of the stress out of watering your greenhouse. You can size these up depending on how big your raised beds are or how long you're going to be gone, and you can also make your own. When making your own Oyas, you can select whatever size terracotta pot that you'd like, and you want to make sure that you fill the drainage hole with a waterproof silicone sealant that is compatible with ceramics. You will then either just bury the pot straight into the soil and use the base of the pot or the saucer as a lid, or you can add a second pot to the top of it to make an even larger Oya for a larger raised bed. Another low-tech but effective solution is the soaker hose. Soaker hoses are made of a permeable material that is the entire length of the hose, so they slowly seep water out as your hose is running. By utilizing a timer, you can make sure that your garden is watered on a regular schedule without you having to even lift a finger. It is best to not let your hose exceed more than 150 feet for best results. So while you can connect multiple hoses together, it may be better to use a hose splitter at your water source. If precision is what you're looking for, then drip irrigation is the solution for you. Here at Growing Spaces, we have a solar powered version, which utilizes a pump in a designated barrel, has a control module and a small solar panel that powers up to 150 feet of irrigation. This system is ideal for smaller greenhouses or a section of your perimeter beds. If you're looking for a larger scale system, we would recommend you to utilize Dripworks, who has fully customizable options and all of the parts and components that you'll need. I'll have a link for you right up here. Some of the main considerations to determine which system will work best for you is your greenhouse size, your plants needs, and your budget. By using those three things to determine which will work best for you, you'll find the perfect solution. It's also important to remember that no matter which option you choose, none of these automated systems are a set it and forget it type of system. You wanna make sure that you're regularly inspecting your plants for pests and diseases, which most gardeners tend to do when they are watering. It's also important that you remember to maintain your systems so that they continue to work for you in the long run. We hope you found some meaningful solutions in this video to help you with your greenhouse garden or your growing dome journey. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.